Hey what's up guys, it's Kazoo here and welcome to my top 10 gold 5 star skillers on FIFA Ultimate Team and uh, if you somehow missed out the previous editions, the silver one and also the non rare ones then uh, there will be a link in the description down below so you can check them out if you haven't already. But um, anyway let's start off with number 10, the first player of this video is going to be Lucas Moura who played for Sao Paulo in the Liga de Brazil. He was 82 rated, 90 pace, 89 dribbling and this man was fantastic simply because he had 5 star skill moves and he was so so quick. He scored a lot of skill goals for me and I actually really really liked him uh, center deck in mid that was definitely his best position um, I used him as a strike as well I think where he played pretty decent uh, he also had an inform which was also pretty good but yet I prefer this uh, normal card over the other one don't really know why but um, sometimes it just feels that the normal card just plays way better than the inform because you, you usually expect that informs are better but um, anyway we're gonna move on to number nine that is Hulk in FIFA 11 and he actually had five star skin moves, which just made him even better than he already was because if you just look at his stats he was absolutely amazing back then and uh, in my opinion this is definitely his best version that has ever been on an ultimate team um, if I remember correctly he also had an 83 rated version on FIFA 11 so this is his upgraded card and he also had an inform um, I never used this inform version though which is a shame because he looked absolutely amazing back then and um, yeah also for him uh, just like I mentioned in the silver edition uh, I used Fernandinho as a center defensive mid even though he was a left mid and I did the exact same with Hulk uh, if you just look at his stats 70 one defending on the right mid is very very decent and uh, even though he was not on full chemistry just like with Fernandinho he played absolutely amazing and scored a lot, a lot of goals for me and uh, mainly long shots with his uh, with his 86 shooting so uh, we're gonna move it to number eight and it is probably one of my favorite skillers this year on ultimate team that is Alex who plays for I do believe international in the Liga de Brazil he was back this year in ultimate team after he left in FIFA 13 he was also on FIFA 12 he was very very good back then but this year's version is just absolutely amazing. His free kicks, they are just so good. And also his long shots, they're incredible. And his 63 pace is definitely a lie. Also his dribbling just feel way higher. So um, yeah, he definitely deserves to be in my top 10 list. And uh, we're going to move it to number 7. That is going to be a 5-star skiller from Argentina from FIFA 13. Eric Lamella he used to play for AS Roma and this man he was absolutely amazing on FIFA 13 he was by far my favorite player that I used on the right hand side I mainly used him as a right mid in the 4-5-1 formation I linked him up with the transferred version of Maicon who moved to uh, AS Roma he was absolutely insane as well 85 rated but um, yeah Lamella he's left footed so you can cut inside with him whenever you want and just score for fun uh, it's just such a shame that he got downgraded this year to 3 star skills too and uh, moved to Tottenham Hotspur because I think last season he, uh, he had a lot of injuries when he moved to Tottenham Hotspur which was such a shame because he played absolutely amazing for Ars Roma this season before that so it was kind of sad to see that but um, anyway we're going to move on to number 6 that is Robinho uh, he actually moved to Santos so he won't be in FIFA 15 and he actually had 5 star skin moves in FIFA 13 also FIFA 12 FIFA 11 but this year on Ultimate Team he has 4 star skin moves I seriously don't understand it Robinho is actually just the least player I expect to get a downgrade, but he got a downgrade this year, which is absolutely ridiculous. I think at one point he actually had three stars for some reason, but um, EA decided to move into to a four-star skiller. But in my opinion, he should be a five-star skiller, just like uh, just like he was in all the previous FIFAs. But uh, Robinho on FIFA 12, he was absolutely amazing. Probably scored one of the best goals uh, I've ever scored on FIFA, and yeah, he was just absolutely amazing, especially as a center attack he made in the four triple two formation. So uh, he's going to be my number six. Now we're going to move to number 5 that is Ronaldinho from FIFA 12 as well and he played in the exact same team with Robinho as a centre defensive mid actually and he actually performed amazing in that position. If you look at his stats, you obviously think that he won't be like the perfect center defensive mid because he only has 49 defending. But um, alongside him, at Yaya Torre, he was absolutely insane as well. So um, he actually performed very good for me. He scored a lot of goals with his uh, 89 dribbling, a lot of rushes, and his 63 pace was an absolute lie, which is actually just a lie every single year on FIFA. He keeps getting downgraded, especially his pace and also just his overall rating. But um, every year he feels the way faster. And I think that is mainly because of his dribbling because it is uh, very high. So um, yeah, he's going to be my number five he's definitely a player that deserves to be in my number five list and now uh, we're going to move on to number four that is Ezekiel Avetsi in FIFA 11 I swear to god this man was absolutely insane on FIFA 11 and he even had his second inform card on FIFA 11 as well he was absolutely godlike and um yeah he will be in my uh, top 10 inform five star skillers which will be up tomorrow but um yeah Lavetsi you could play him as a center forward and he even had five star skill moves 
even though he was only 81 rated, he is by far way better than his uh, FIFA 14 card, FIFA 13 card, FIFA 12 card even. And that is mainly because of the fact he, uh, he was a center forward so you could use him as a striker. And that position is seriously his best ever position. So um, yeah, you missed out big time if you uh, if you didn't play FIFA 11 Ultimate Team. But um, anyway, we're going to move on to number three. That is Ibrahimovic on FIFA 13. He's absolutely insane this year on Ultimate Team, but I preferred him actually in, in FIFA 13. I used him so much, I think... I played over 300 games with him in FIFA 13, so I know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, this man, he scored so many goals for me. A lot of goals that I used in compilations. And uh, you probably will know that if you if you watch my FIFA 13 compilations, uh, which are still up on my channel. So you can check them out if you like to. But um, yeah, like I said, this is, in my opinion, the best version of Ibrahimovic that I've ever used. So um, we're going to move on to number two. That is Neymar, his uh, left winger version in FIFA 13 as well. 85 rated, 91 pace, 91 dribbling, 4 star weak foot this year he actually has five star weak foot so you would maybe think that i would prefer his uh, his uh, fifa 14 version but i actually do think that this one is just way better in my opinion anyway um he played so well and uh, just like robinho uh, i think he scored also one of my best goals i've ever scored on ultimate team uh, which is actually in a compilation called unlock 2 which was actually dedicated to neymar uh, it's uh, kind of based on uh, on my skill into glory series i think you can compare that video to uh, do the series i'm currently doing so um yeah the link to that video is in the description down below so you can check it out uh, if you like to of course but um, anyway we're going to move on to number one and that has to be I think my favorite five star skiller of all time that is Alexander Pato in FIFA 12 and this man was just absolutely incredible on that game look at his stats 87 pace 82 shooting which probably felt like 90 or something 85 dribbling and 80 heading as well this man was seriously just insane on that game uh, he played for AC Milan so there were a lot of options to, uh, to link him up with maybe other five star skillers just like Ibrahimovic who was actually playing for, uh, for AC Milan at the time as well but um, yeah just like I said Pato he was absolutely amazing on FIFA 12. Such a shame he got downgraded on FIFA 13 and also on FIFA 14 to a two four star skill moves because um, he's still amazing on this year's Ultimate Team. But just because he has four star skill moves, I don't really use him that often anymore, which is a shame because, like I said, he's still very, very good on Ultimate Team. And uh, also on FIFA 12, I kind of dedicated a video to him, which is called Unlocked Edition, which is pretty much the first edition of that unlocked video, just like I did with uh, with Neymar on FIFA 13. So a link to that video will be in the description down below as well, so you can check it out if you haven't already but um, anyway guys that's going to be the end of this video hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated and if you get a thousand likes that would be absolutely awesome so i think thank you guys very much for watching and i will see you guys later bye bye